Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I am beyond excited about today's message. I'm going to entitle it, The Prayers of the Masters. And my two greatest heroes are Jesus and Zarathustra. And we can learn a lot by looking at the prayers that they wrote out, my friends. And I'll tell you what amazed me that their two prayers were the same prayer. How had I not seen that before? I, I broke it down, and, and it's the same prayer. And, and, oh, so beautiful. I can't wait to share with you. Uh, and, and then also in that place between awake and asleep, Spirit gave me a message for you guys that you don't want to miss. But before we even start all that, I, I got to tell you, uh, I keep pulling the King of Pentacles card. I mean to ridiculous amounts. Uh, every day, every time. It's kind of like, it reminds me of the Four of Swords like we did for the last few years. Uh, I mean, every time I pull a card, it's the King of Pentacles. And, and so I had to go deeper with it because I, I already know what it represents or I thought I did, but I took it even deeper, my friends. It, and I think it might mean something to some of you watching me right now. Uh, the kings, they represent the kings who have given their life for man. It, it represents the sacrificial gods, Jesus, Zarathustra, the ones who gave their life to mankind, to the earth. It, and my friends, and I'm not talking about dying, I'm not talking about crucifixion. I'm talking about giving their life, their, their energy, their ideas to their fellow man and to this earth to raise the consciousness. My friends, I'm talking about a Zarathustra uh, with people who, who thought that God hated and warred and killed and destroyed and, and he gave them an, an idea and he, he poured his life into this idea that we call Asha and Ahura Mazda, an all-good-God that can't do evil. I'm talking about Jesus, who, who, when the Pharisees brought the woman caught in adultery and said, Moses said to stone her, and Jesus said, Ye without sin cast the first stone. When James and John wanted to call down fire from heaven and destroy the town, he said, You don't know what spirit you're of. He taught the loving Father my friends, and they gave their life for people to understand these higher ideas, to raise the consciousness of the earth, my friends, the sacrificial gods that, that, that put their mission above material things, my friends. And I believe this is speaking to someone today. Someone in their heart of hearts is tired of just trying to get uh, the the nicer, newer car when they already got one that runs good. They're trying to get the bigger, better house when they've already got plenty of rooms and bathrooms. Trying to get uh, a, another piece of clothing with an emblem on it. Trying to impress people. But something inside of them feels there's more to this life than that. Maybe there's some sacrificial gods here watching this channel right now and this is going to waken something inside of you. My, my friends, I, I want to start with Jesus's prayer when he is showing the disciples how to pray. And then we're going to go to Zarathustra's prayer, the prayers of the masters. It says, after this manner, manner therefore pray ye, our father. I love that. Jesus called God his father, the loving father. The magi call God the loving father. No coincidence, my friends. The Magis are the ones that came and worshipped at the Christ at his birth when it said in the book of Matthew, the Jewish people were afraid. If you're looking for this, my friends, it's this prayer is in Matthew 6, starting at verse 9. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth 
as it is in heaven. My friends, thy kingdom come. Asha, come. The perfect creator's perfect idea, come and be realized. Asha realized in the earth. Thy will be done on earth it is, as it is in heaven. That's, that's heaven on earth. That's what we call Asha, my friends. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us protection. Give us provision, my friends. It says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And then I love this. I saw something here I hadn't seen before. It, it says, and lead us not into to temptation, but deliver us from evil. My friends, we need to be able to hear from Spirit so we can be guided. When, when Spirit's telling you, go this way, don't go that way. Because if you go that way, you're going to run into a situation that's going to bring up maybe anger in you. Maybe lead to violence, my friends. So, so it's leading us away from temptation to get into anger or fear or hate. And Spirit's telling us, you know, don't go that way. Go this way. We need to be led by the Spirit of God. It says, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is like when we, like I've taught you, when we go out for our walks, my friends, we're saying, God is, Asha is, love is, peace is, joy is. We're speaking it. That's meaning, so be it. It is. Amen. All the power, all the glory. God is. Everything else is lie and illusion. And that, that fire and that truth, my friends, burns away that matrix. So beautiful. Now look at this, my friends. This is Zarathustra's <coughs> prayer, Yata'uhu. And I always like to say this. It says it's a primordial utterance of such a nature that if all the corporal world should learn it and hold fast by it, they would be redeemed from their mortality. That's the message of Jesus. That's the message of Zarathustra. That's the message of Asha, my friends. It says, just as the Lord wills, so the priestly king in consciousness of Asha. So, so the Lord wills Asha, and so do his priestly kings. That's us, my friends. We are the priestly kings. We are the sacrificial gods that come to the earth and, and give our life force for the message of the Christ, of Asha of oneness with God, good, love, life, peace, joy, power, and freedom. It says, the gift of Vohumenu, the Christ mind, it's a gift, my friends, that it was given to us in our heart of hearts. It's our Fravashi divine spark, my friends. And I love this. It says, all activity now comes from wisdom. Word incarnate. Oh, word Incarnate. That means that original Om, that Asha, that perfect creator's perfect idea is inside of you. And, and we, we access it through the Christ mind. Vohu menu. So beautiful. It says the good shepherd brings the government of Ahura Mazda. And Asha is actualized. My friends, it's the same prayer from both the masters. So much we can learn from that. My friends, did you get something from that? Did you see something in there maybe you hadn't seen before? Do you maybe realize something about yourself that you kind of knew, but you just needed someone to awaken you to that truth? Oh, so beautiful. Ahura Mazda, Asha, Jesus, Zarathustra, we love you and thank you. Thank you for giving your life, your idea to us. We don't take it lightly. And now we share our gift, our light, our life with the world. Oh, I love you guys so much. Asha, so simple, so beautiful, and so powerful. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.